Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you about Excel, Microsoft Excel. So there are three learning outcomes in this topic. First one is to check, download and install Microsoft Excel. Then the second one is introduction to Microsoft Excel. The last one is to create charts and graph using Microsoft Excel. First, type Microsoft Excel in the search bar. If the Microsoft Excel is, has been installed, then it will show Excel apps over here. Or else, then you have to open a browser, go to the google.com, and then type Microsoft Click on the Microsoft 365 and then click sign in. After you have key in your username and password, you should show Microsoft 365 page and click install apps. Once the download is completed, right click to the open to the uh, right click and open the Office Setup EXE and wait for the Microsoft software to complete the checking process and installations. All right, I hope this helps you. All right, let's go for the second part, which is introduction to Microsoft Excel. Once you have installed Microsoft Excel successfully, type in the search bar Excel, then right click the software run as admin. And then click the blank workbook. Okay, let me introduce you the basis of Microsoft Excel. There is a menu bar on top of it, followed with the ribbons, formula bar, and the sheet itself. So at the bottom part, we have workbook or worksheet. And then on the right part, we have zoom, zoom in and zoom out. If I say refer to the formula tabs, which means that it is referred to formula parts, formula tabs, and the ribbon will show the categories inside the formula tab. If I say that refer to the view tab, which means refer to the view and it will show the categories inside the view tab. So we can type anything in the any Excel in the sheet. Let's say I type hello word. So the word hello is positioned at B2, cell B2, while the word is positioned inside the C2 cell, C2 cell. So basically, Microsoft Excel is used for analyze data, store data, uh, create charts, and we can do a lot of uh, analysis tasks using Microsoft Excel. Okay, let's go for the third part which is create charts and graph using Microsoft Excel. Okay, in order to create charts and graph, you need some data first or uh, a spreadsheet with data. So I have downloaded an employee sample data online, which is free to use. Uh, this data sheet shows us that uh, there are full name, job titles, department, business unit, and so on uh, for the company. So if you want to display a chart, so the, then you must use insert tab, and then um, you may select the charts over here. Let's say I want to know, let's say I want to know what are the business units that's having um, different genders or how many um, different genders, females or male in certain units. So I may select both uh, columns and then I click on the recommended chart. So here it shows us that um, there are two types of recommended charts. One is vertical, one is uh, horizontal chart. So it's up to you to choose which you want. So if I really want to focus on the female and male come by gender, then I can select this chart. If I want to know about their um, units or business units, then I may select this chart. But in this chart, it does not show us how many um, female and male in each category. Okay, so let's say if I selected this chart, click OK, then it will show us the private charts count by gender and gender. So from here, it's already prepared a title for us, but the title may not be that suitable. Click on exit titles and then we have to remember it and then we may show the data level as well 
So let's say I want to um, rename the title as refer to sheet one business unit gender for business unit to have a clear title here represent the frequency of female and a male so it represents uh, number of staff over here gender Right. Okay, then you may select all of these text box and increase the size of the title or the exit exit title. Okay, or you may change the size of um, the phone. Okay, I think this is good. Okay, so this is one of the examples that we created. So go back to the original sheet, which is sheet one. Let's say if I want to know um, the age, I may click on uh, insert tab and then click the commented chart. So it will show us um, there are four possibilities that the Excel understand. First one is distributions of ages, which shows us most of the stuff. Um, actually, we cannot see very clear from this graph. We just know that the range well, the stuff is between maybe 23 up to 68 and then Sam from here and histogram shows also the frequency occurrence and this could be a better chart which is a Pareto chart plots the distribution of the data in descending order of frequencies okay with a cumulative line on the second exit as a percentage of the total so we may click this to create one chart okay we may move the charts since it created a chart in the same sheet as our data sheet. So just move it to the right side. And then rename the, type, the chart title as Pareto chart. Company age uh, for staff age. And then over here, uh, which shows the number of staff in the range of the ages range of age okay this is um, percentage total staff okay and then select the text box we can change the size to 11 And the title may be changed to 20. Okay, to have a particle chart which show the age differences based on categories. Okay, we also may include uh, the data label. All right. Also, the chart um, data from here, the width, the dash, whether we want to represent it with a dash or a line. And then whether the cap is flat or join is round, maybe I want to use the join as bevel. Okay, it shows nothing different. Alright, so I hope um, this video will help you to create charts that you need from your data. Thank you.